Hello, welcome back to Crenshaw. Today I will be reviewing a pair of Off-White Air Jordan 5s in the Muslim colorway. Um, before I get too far in this video, I want to say thank you to the seller, uh, Please Shoes, for sending these shoes for a review. Their Instagram will be right here on the screen in case you want to go check out what they got. Or you can go down the description, go to the website, message them, be like, hey, credit and sell, send me, and they'll give you a great discount code on whatever you purchase. All right, but let's get right into the review. Um, these are the Off-White Air Jordan 5 in the Muslim colorway. Say that these are perfect. Like, I was looking for a flaw, especially with like a lot of these Off-White shoes, and I can't find any, really. Um, the only thing that was a uh, hiccup on this shoe was the um, stitching on the inside, which you can't see on foot. Like, it's only gonna be something useful for legit checking purposes, but otherwise, these are flawless. The paint on the midsole is also incredible, too. So I'm going to say off the jump, like the craftsmanship on these are an easy 10 out of 10. Perfect. Like even the fidelity on that Air Jordan on the inside is great. That Nike Air on the back is positioned perfectly. The text looks really good on the medial side, lateral side, the holes, everything is cut out really, where, really well. Um, I have got some budget off-white fives before and the holes were not cut out well. So these are definitely a high end pair definitely worth buying. There's really no glue stains, unlike retail pairs, which have a lot of glue stains on them overall. So definitely worth checking these out if you do want this for sneakers. This might be one of the best sellers to get this from. Came with all the laces too, the white, the red, and the hang tag. Now, I would say definitely not worth spending a lot of money on this pair of shoes. They're not a shoe I could ever suggest you spending more than 300 400 on just because the materials alone are not the best it's a very durable pair of sneakers they don't crease because the material alone but there's no leather there's no suede all of this is all synthetic it's all very cheaply made it's gonna last a long time i would say but there's no quality i would say in materials it's just it looks nice which it's kind of the case for a lot of off-white sneakers besides the off-white fours so yeah definitely something i would say not spend more than um 180 on, ever. Just not worth it. If you're going this route, and then if you want to go authentic route, if you can get them for a good deal, get a used pair, don't pay more than like 500, it's not worth it at all. Um, do have that nice H translucent outsole, which goes onto the midsole, it's really nice. We have those shark teeth with the splatter print. The splatter looks absolutely amazing on the lateral side and on the medial side where you get this little thing right there paint looks really good nothing's going over on budget pairs you a lot of times see the paint go over on this side or at least over here so these are really good quality um 3m is doing this thing 3m in shining reflecting light and yeah pretty much all for the details of the shoe on the sizing go true to size you don't need to go half size up you don't need to go half size down True size is going to fit you great. It's going to not feel too snug, not too roomy. You're going to be good to go. Definitely a pair of shoes you can wear all day. Um, with another pair I have, I've gone hiking on them. I've hit trails and stuff. Worn them all day for like 12 hours a day. Traveled in them across country. And my feet were comfortable the entire time. I say that this is probably one of my favorite Jordan 5s to wear. This might even be my favorite Air Jordan 5 of all time. This shoe for me is easily like a 12 out of 10. Like way better than the 10 out of 10. It's just perfect. It's so versatile and amazing. Virgil Abloh really did his thing on these. I really like how it doesn't have the pillows or the like little pods like you get on usual Air Jordan 5s, how it doesn't have that at all. It's really nice. It's really cool. But yeah, definitely great pair of sneakers. Um, if you like these, go check them out in the cellar. And thanks for watching the video. Stick around for the B-roll, the on-foot portion. See you in the next vid. Peace.